Hey everybody, it's Tammy from SketchUp for Interior Designers and today I am drawing a space that you're seeing behind me. It's just a little nook in our bedroom that has been sitting empty for a while and we're trying to reimagine it as a work from home spot so that we can have a few more options when working from home. So we're trying to figure out if we should have a desk from wall to wall here, perhaps a standing desk here, maybe a little bit of both. Just trying to figure out what our options are before we build it. So the exciting thing about today's video is that we are going to be drawing it in the SketchUp for iPad app. So I've got my iPad Pro here. I've also got my Apple Pencil. We're going to be measuring it and drawing it directly into the app. So we have working drawings right away, skipping over the paper and pencil phase and just drawing directly into SketchUp. So I've got SketchUp for iPad, I've got my iPad Pro, and I've got my Apple Pencil. So I'm excited to show you how I would go about doing that. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here we have a fresh file in the SketchUp for iPad app. And a lot of people will erase the scale figure from the start, but in the iPad app, I actually find it easier to leave Sal in there for just a moment. It helps us orbit and pan. As I measure and draw the space directly into SketchUp for iPad, I need to decide on a starting point. So I'm going to start on the left hand wall here, right around the dresser. And the wall is going to extend beyond my design. So I'm just going to make this a little over eight feet. And then I'll turn the corner and this wall is going to be eight foot six and 11 sixteenths. Then I turn the corner. This is going to be 47 and three fourths. And you'll notice that I've switched from feet and inches to just inches and the SketchUp for iPad definitely takes us on either in feet and inches or inches or whatever other method of measurement system that you use. If you're using centimeters, meters, things like that. I'll turn the corner and that wall also extends beyond the design. So I'm just going to make it a little over four feet. So let's draw that in the iPad. Back in the SketchUp for iPad app, I'm going to select the pencil icon, which is the line tool, hard press down to start a line, moving along the green axis, hard press down to set a line a little over eight feet, turning the corner along the red axis. This one's going to be a measured line, and I'm going to set it at eight foot six and 11 sixteenths of an inch. And that lets me be really precise with that wall there. Now I'm at 47 and three quarters of an inch. And again, this lets me move from feet and inches to just inches really easily. Turn the corner one more time, hard press, hard press. And this wall is not going to be as precise because it's out of the scope. So then I select the uh, select tool, which is just the arrow icon so that I can click and drag from left to right, selecting all of the edges there. Now I can use the offset. I'm going to click on the three dots there to see more options for my toolbar. Offset is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to offset those edges to create some wall thickness. Click and drag down. I am going to select this at six inches for a six inch wall thickness there. I'm going to zoom in and I'll delete Sal because I'm no longer needing him for scale. So now I need to adjust my view. I want to view it from the top and parallel projection. So I'm looking for a top view and my camera settings there. It's nice and straight top view and parallel projection so that that blue axis goes away for now. All right, back to the line tool. I'm just going to close in this shape so that I create a face to extrude. I accidentally created a little tail there. I'm going to delete that using the eraser tool and a pinch to do a zoom extents. So I'm just practicing driving around the SketchUp for iPad app, still getting used to it. Back to top view in our camera settings, back to my line tool and closing in that shape there. I'm looking for a shape to extrude. Okay. I'm going to add in a window. So I need to measure that out. I'm going to use my tape measure tool and click and release from the corner and type in 18 and a half inches and then type in the window measurement there, 35 and three quarters. So that's going to be the width of the window rectangle tool to break that apart. 
and now I'm going to move over to a perspective view in my scenes setting. All right, push pull tool and moving upwards and my walls are going to be at nine feet tall. Double click to set that little piece there at nine feet. Now I need to select my line tool because I need to carve out my windowsill and my header. Now my windowsill is going to be at 37 inches tall. So I'm going to draw a line straight up the blue axis and type 37 enter and draw a line straight across that wall thickness. I need to undo that and redo it. So two finger click will undo and I can redraw that line straight across that wall thickness. Now top down, it's going to be my header is just at 14 inches from the top. So I'm going to type in 14, I have an endpoint to reference and I didn't quite get it. So I'm going to do two finger tap, really easy to undo here and try again with that endpoint and straight across that wall thickness at 14 inches from the top. All right, push pull. I'm going to pull across to the opposite endpoint and double click over there and I accidentally undid. So I'm going to redo three finger click as a redo. All right. So I'm going to erase using the eraser tool front and back. And it's really easy with the iPad to just really quickly undo. It's actually faster than it is on the desktop version. Okay. So over here on this wall, I didn't create a uh, opening in 2D, so I'll need to create an opening in 3D. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and draw directly on the face, just kind of willy nilly, a window opening, and I'll adjust the size in a moment. Here I've selected, I've hit my select tool, selected from left to right to grab all of the geometry in that top and that header. And I'm just going to use the move tool and lock it to the blue inference there and move it uh, straight up to line up with the other window opening. So now my window header and my window sill are at the same height as my adjacent window there. So now I am going to select the window so I can see that the window opening there is a little bit wider than I need. So I'm going to grab my tape measure tool and create a tape measure guideline at 26 and a quarter inch wide because that's how wide my window is going to be and I'll pull that opening inward to that intersection point. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool, select left to right to grab that whole window opening, selecting it at the midpoint. So select left to right, move from that blue dot, locking it to that red axis and finding the blue dot, which is the midpoint in the wall on that back edge there. All right. So now I know that window opening is the correct size and it's right in the middle of that wall. That concludes part one of this three part series. Next up, we're going to build out two different options. And then in part three, we're going to add some materials, add some scenes and pieces from the 3D warehouse. So I'll see you in the next two parts.